My dear viewers, hello and welcome to a new episode of our program, uh, Women's World, during which we bring you all of what concerns the Egyptian women. In uh, this uh, episode, we are going uh, to speak about uh, the sea ways uh, in Egypt. We are going to uh, know more about the women uh, there and uh, the customs and traditions uh, and uh, uh, the history of uh, uh, the sea ways. Uh, stay, stay tuned for more uh, in uh, this episode. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the Siwa Oasis is an urban oasis in Egypt that is located between the Qatara Depression and the Great Sand Sea in the Western Desert, 50 kilometers east of Egypt Libyan border and 560 kilometers away from the capital city of Cairo. It is famous for its role in ancient Egypt being the home of Amun. That's why it's uh, one of the very important touristic attractions. Uh, we are going to shed more light on uh, Siwa uh, Oasis and uh, its history and the women in uh, Siwa. So to shed more light on this, we had the pleasure to have with us over the phone uh, Dr. Huda Badron, member of the Arab Women Bond. Good day to you, Dr. Badron. Good day to you also. Well, uh, uh, Siwa Oasis is one of the very important urban uh, uh, oasis in uh, Egypt. So give us an idea about uh, uh, Siwa. Yes, Siwa is really uh, it's not just important. It's a lovely place to be there. And uh, you have said that it, uh, you know, the culture there, there they are really keeping the, the old nice culture of Egypt. And uh, there are uh, some monuments there, yes. uh, which not many people know about it. But I, I was privileged to go several times there, and uh, I stayed there in some of the hotels. And I'm glad to say that uh, I'll mention one name, for example, Namat uh, Namatalla, Munir Namatalla, hmm. has a hotel there, which is really uh, built according to the culture of uh, the oasis y you mean uh, preserving the, yes preserving the heritage of the place yes yes, yes. and uh, i'm saying that there are uh, some heritages there which not uh, many people know about it which uh, uh, is a very touristic place and it keeps a very nice culture hmm. and uh, uh, women in particular there are really keeping the old culture in terms of their dressing. Mm. And I know they are very interested in handicrafts. Yes. And uh, I think there is a couple of uh, NGOs also, not the AAW was working yes. for a while there. Unfortunately, we, uh, we didn't keep our work there, but there are some other NGOs. And uh, I know there is uh, another lodge which we stayed there also. Yes. Uh, and I'm very impressed that keeping the old culture of the place. Mm. It's very touristic. It's very, um, you know, a culture, I'm talking about culture in, uh, in, in the large, in a general sense. It's not just uh, uh, literature and uh, uh, cinema. So I'm yes. talking about culture, about a way of living. Yeah, the way, the of way living. people are living yes. there is really keeping the civilization of Egypt. Yes. And I know there are also some projects uh, which is uh, health 
uh, touristic. Yes. There are places where uh, the water there and the sand there, uh, many people come from abroad uh, because of rheumatic uh, problems, uh, uh, some, you know, uh, bones, uh, uh, some of, uh, some of the, the health problems can really be cured yes. uh, by, by the nature there, yes. by the sand, uh, by the water there. And uh, uh, there are some places with water which is very special. Yes. So uh, and there's. I think there are now people have understood that. And I know that uh, uh, there are some new investments. Yes. In, uh, uh, in the place, which is mm -hmm. very nice because for some time not many people would know what is there in Siwa. Yes. And I think even in. Uh, it doesn't have to, to have foreigners to see Siwa. Yes. Because I think uh, Egyptians have to know about every part of their country. Yes. And it would be very nice to have some, uh, you know, some companies, uh, tourist companies, who would really focus on that place. And I was impressed also by using, uh, you know, bicycles instead of, uh, uh, you know, using the, the regular uh, uh, cars and uh, those which are is not nice uh, for uh, for the environment now. Mm. So many of the the people uh, there in the Siwa, they they uh, use the bicycles in uh, transportation, which yes. is a very intelligent way of thinking. Mm. Yes. So uh, it's really very special, and uh, mm. I encourage everybody to go there and see and enjoy uh, the clean environment. Uh, the nice, the pure water and, and air, no pollution there. Uh, women there have very nice uh, handicrafts to, say, to sell. Mm. Uh, of course, they, uh, they use the, the, the stitch, which we know about uh, uh, the other uh, part of, uh, of Egypt. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but their dress, they keep uh, the old dress and they look very nice in it. Yes. Yes. So, Dr. Badran, uh, there's no uh, uh, pollution uh, there in uh, the Siwa Oasis. Uh, there's health uh, tourism or medical tourism uh, that is visiting uh, there and using the waters there uh, uh, with the uh, special uh, temperatures. Uh, uh, the atmosphere uh, there and the climate is very uh, completely different uh, from other parts in uh, Egypt and even in comparison to any uh, part in the whole uh, world. So, um, uh, uh, what did you uh, uh, see uh, special about uh, the uh, the women in uh, Siwa? Uh, what are they, uh, the way they are dressed, the way uh, they are uh, uh, raising up their children, uh, their houses, um, uh, their costumes, uh, their traditions and uh, 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 customs? Uh, give us more uh, idea about this. I think Egypt uh, has uh, resources and have uh, touristic uh, ideas and places which, as you have said, there is no place in the whole world that have this. Yani, uh, the water that any tourist will come and enjoy the beaches mm. that is there mm. in, 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 in Siwa, uh, it's much better than any other beaches in the whole world. Uh, there is, uh, you know, the kind of, uh, which is a, a very special uh, uh, kind of uh, tours, which they, uh, it's a special car that can go in, in the sand. And this is not available in, in many other places. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, the kind of hotels that uh, tourists can stay there uh, cannot find in any place because it's really out of the culture. Yes. It, uh, it doesn't use air condition. Uh, mm. uh, actually, one of the lodges there, uh, they use, uh, uh, you know, the regular some, regular, some yes. energy, yes. which doesn't pollute uh, uh, the, uh, the air, as I, mm. as I said. And I tell you about women also that... Uh, the relationship in the Siwa 
family is keeping its intact. And I am I, I'm, uh, not uh, pleased about what uh, probably happens in the family in the urban areas in Cairo and in the slums. In Siwa, there is a great respect for women. Yes. And the relationship uh, inside the families is very respectful. There is no violence in Siwa against women or violence in general that you can see in the urban areas here in Cairo. Uh, no sexual uh, harassment, harassment in yes. Siwa, mm. which is very particular. And this is uh, because, as I've said, they really... Uh, yeah, very conscious about the culture. They have cultures. ethics, yes. They are conscious that they keep mm. that culture. Yeah. We have acquired some new culture which is not ours, really. Mm. Yeah, I mean, uh, as Galal Amin said, what happened to the Egyptians? Mm. The Egyptians in Siwa are the old with the culture, with the values, with the intact families with the nice environment and clean environment, it's still there. We should be very proud that we have a part like Siwa in Egypt. Yes, yes. So uh, you've spoke about very important uh, thing, which is uh, the virgin nature there in uh, Siwa and how the hotels are preserving uh, this nature and uh, keeping uh, the regular uh, uh, way of uh, uh, living. Also, uh, you've mentioned a very important thing about uh, the uh, uh, women in uh, Siwa. Uh, they have ethics and raise up their children in very uh, good uh, uh, way. Uh, so uh, what about uh, also uh, the art and uh, the uh, culture there uh, and uh, uh, the jobs that the women work there? Uh, well, I'll tell you, Yani, uh, some of the Maybe they work in the handcrafts. Are really, are really part of art. Yes. Uh, they are not regular, the, you know, the modern hotels like yes. Hilton and like uh, the Western hotels which we have mm. imported from other countries. Mm. No, the buildings there and the houses there... Is part of the nature really, of uh, the place. Part of the, of the art. The nature, itself, yes. Which is very nice. Because when art, it stems up from the culture itself, it goes very smoothly. Mm. Because sometimes when you import some art or uh, literature from abroad, uh, it doesn't always go smoothly with the other part of the, of the culture, of the native culture. Uh, in Siwa, you find the art, you find the... Uh, uh, the whole culture there, uh, uh, the songs there, uh, mm. the, the, the whole way of living mm. is very smoothly, mm. uh, very consistent it's and relaxing. integrated with each other. You think it's relaxing there's, also? There's no something that is not uh, just uh, mm. coming uh, uprooted. Everything ha has its own roots yes. in the culture of Siwa. Yes. What about the climate there and the relaxing atmosphere there in Siwa? It's fantastic there. It's really fantastic. That's why I think, yeah, yeah, I don't know how much abroad they know about this place. Mm. But I am sure that if there is an effort really from our government to really uh, market this place and show it uh, outside Egypt also, not in, just inside. I'm sure that this place will be one of the most successful places uh, for tourism. Mm. And, and we need tourism. Yes. Uh, and Egypt can provide for tourists, which no place can provide. And Siwa is one of the places which can provide to tourists uh, no other place can give. Mm. But they don't know about it now. They don't know enough about it. Yes. I think we need more to market it. We, we, we need more publicity. Uh, I hope our offices yeah. outside Egypt will make that publicity for that place. Yes.
Yes. Um, uh, well, um, uh, Dr. Rabadran, also, what about uh, the uh, traditions uh, concerning the wedding uh, traditions there in Siwa or um, uh, the, the meals they, uh, uh, they have, uh, the food, uh, what, what do they cook? Uh, uh, of course, uh, things from uh, the food, from the nature they are living in. Give us an idea about it, please. Uh, I, I'm glad to say that they are keeping all that. Uh, uh, I know that uh, uh, one of the things which uh, they are uh, known for uh, is the, uh, uh, cultivating the olives, mm. the green and yes. the black olives. And uh, olive, uh, olive oil is one of the best in the whole world in Siwa. Uh, not many people know about that also. Uh, I, I, I have seen uh, the industry of pottery. They have very nice mm. uh, uh, workshops to produce yes. uh, pottery. And women are involved in, uh, in that. Uh, the, their way of living inside the home is very much the, the same traditional way which our ancestors were, were uh, using. Yani, uh, the food, they have a, a lot of, uh, uh, what you call, balakh. Uh, yeah, dates. The tamr, the dates. The dates, yes. Uh, different kinds of dates. Yes. And uh, uh, they, they, they have honey. Uh, uh, they, have, uh, they, they are very interested in, uh, in having uh, uh, the, the natural uh, honey out of bees. Yes, yes. Uh, they, have, they have special things that they are really specialized in. Mm, yes. Uh, their clothes, women have a very special, very nice clothes. And uh, of course, uh, uh, they, they are different, but they are the original ones, which they have been there. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm saying, unfortunately, in the urban areas and in Cairo, uh, we have uh, left some of the very nice part of our culture, yeah. whether the food or the clothes or the songs or uh, the art, which we, we, we didn't keep. See what kept all that. Yes. And when you, when you drop in Sina, you feel you are in a different place. In Siwa, yes. You feel you are yes. going back yes. hundreds of years. Yes. Uh, you know, even, uh, you know, their profile, the profile of the people, they are a, a very beautiful brownish faces yes. because of the sun there. Yes, and I thank you very there much. there are there, yes. which also makes the, the weather much cooler than in, any uh, other place in, in, in the summer. Yes. And of course, in the winter, uh, usually desert is, is cool, yes. but cool and crisp. Yes. And they have uh, the rugs. Yes. Women are very much also involved in using the rugs because they, if they use rugs which uh, it, it uh, gives some warmth. Yes. To the house. Yes, I thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your valuable information, Dr. Huda Badran, member of the Arab Women Bond. Thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have uh, now uh, a segment about the costumes of uh, the uh, uh, women in uh, Siwa Oasis.
Well, uh, with this, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our, of, uh, our uh, program, Women's World, uh, during which uh, we brought you uh, um, uh, a full uh, uh, information about the Siwa Oasis, uh, which is uh, 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 one of the important urban uh, oasis in uh, Egypt, and it's located 560 kilometers uh, away from uh, the uh, capital city of uh, Cairo, and uh, uh, beside the, the border uh, of uh, the uh, Egyptian uh, Libyan border and uh, we spoke about uh, the customs uh, and the women in uh, Siwa and uh, how they uh, uh, bring up their children uh, also uh, the traditions and uh, the customs uh, there and uh, the history uh, of uh, Siwa and uh, the women who worked in Siwa uh, the families uh, with handcrafts well uh, my name is Amal Mukhtar thank you for watching Baby.